Welcome everyone to Indie Interactive, where we talk about making great music, connecting with your audience, and growing your business. My name is Bree Noble. I'm the founder of Women of Substance Radio Podcast. That's the page you're on right now. The founder of the Female Entrepreneur Musician and the Female Musician Academy. And yes, I am now the founder of the Profitable Musician Summit. And I am super excited to be telling all of you guys about the summit. I know some of you have heard about it already. Um, and so I want to during this time on Indie Interactive today, not just talk about the summit and take any questions that you guys have about it, but I want to talk about income streams because I think that as musicians, that is the key to our success in becoming profitable musicians and um, actually being able to make a living, whether it's you want to have a side hustle of music where you're breaking even or you're able to you know, finance the projects that you want to do in music, or whether you actually want to make a living from it full time, income streams are the key to that. And that's why this entire virtual summit that I'm doing, which is a big online conference that's going to be from May 1 to May 10, is all about income streams and having our speakers uncover 32 different income streams for you guys. So before we get into what we're talking about today, I just want to say hi to everybody that's here. Good morning to Molly and Carleen and Melanie and uh, let's see, Beth and Sylvie. How's it going? Um, let's see who else? Uh, Nanette is here. Great to see some of you guys that I don't always see on Indie Interactive. This is awesome. So today we're talking about income streams. So I would love for you guys that are in the chat to think about kind of the ways that you make from uh, make money from music right now and put those into the chat. Um, are you doing live shows? What kind of shows are you doing? Are you doing house concerts? Are you doing, uh, are you touring? Are you um, doing some private parties? Are you doing corporate events? Are you doing keynote concerts? Um, you know, uh, there's so many different versions of live events. Are you selling merch? Are you selling music when you're live? Um, and then there's all the online options, right? Are you selling music online? Are you making money from streaming services like Spotify? Are you doing things like this, Facebook Live, like we're doing right now, and actually uh, getting some money from those? Are you doing Patreon? I know that... Um, Molly is doing Patreon. Um, are you, you know, do you have any direct to fan kind of options like that? Have you done crowdfunding? There's so many ways that we can make money as musicians. Um, have you done music licensing and mu uh, music libraries? Um, let's see what other options are. Oh, do you teach lessons? Do you um, do like recording online um, with co collaborating with other people and doing some, you know, demos and things like that for pay? So what kinds of things are you guys doing to make money? I would love to hear that. Um, and while you're putting that in the chat, I just kind of wanted to, to go over, uh, first of all, from my own perspective as a musician, when I was a full-time musician, how did I make money from that? How was I bringing in enough money for a full-time income as a musician? It was not just from one thing. That's for sure. You know, I was touring, um, but it was also doing some kind of niche events locally, um, which is something that Tara B is going to be talking about uh, on the summit. I was also occasionally doing some private parties, which we're going to have some people talking about that. Um, I was recording some demos for people, some demos for songwriters, recording um, some session work, some backups for people, that kind of thing. And I even occasionally got into offering my small studio, which was in my, you know, my um, office to other people to record. And there are definitely going to be some people on the summit talking about that, uh, specifically my friend Fett. And um, our friend Becky Willard is going to be talking about how she does that in her Vox Fox studio. And so I did do that occasionally for some, some money. Um, and 
I did not teach students. I know many of you guys do. It just, I just didn't feel like it was something I was excited about doing uh, as far as teaching private voice students. I definitely had people asking me if I could do that, but it just didn't really go down that route at that time. Um, <clears throat> but, um, and in a minute, I'm gonna go over like all the income streams we're gonna be talking about on the virtual summit. And while I'm reading your uh, comments here and anybody that showed up, good morning, Tara. Tara is one of our speakers on the summit. I'm so excited for you guys to hear her. Um, good morning to Catherine and good morning to Amanda. Great to have you here again. Good morning to Sarah. Oh, so many great people are here today, you guys. I'm so excited to be able to announce this virtual summit. I've been working on it since, um, well, I've been, it's been in my mind and I've been kind of working on it in the background since the end of October last year. In fact, um, if you guys, some of you know, I'm actually partnering with Steve Pal Freeman, who put on the Music Launch Summit back in 2016. If you, any of you guys went to that, it was an amazing event. I got the chance to speak at it and he had so many awesome speakers. But because he had experience with that, I kind of was talking to him about, you know, how that worked and how hard it would be for me to put it on and if he had advice and all that. And we met actually on Halloween in 2017 because I remember that um, I had to leave early to go take my daughter out to trick or treating. But um, we were talking about it. He was giving me a bunch of advice. And then like a day later, he's like, you know what? Are you interested in having a partner for this? I'm excited about this. I want to help. And so he's been a little bit of a silent partner in this, um, working in the background, doing a lot of the, um, the back end work to set this up while I was doing all the interviews. So when you come to the summit, you'll see that I'm the one interviewing everyone except for my interview where Steve's going to be interviewing me. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I, I started talking to him about this back then. I've been working hardcore on it since mid-February. I started doing interviews and I interviewed people for a month straight, which has been really awesome. Um, so I'm going to just kind of look over what you guys are saying about your income streams that you're using right now for your music. I would love to hear from any of you. Um, bonjour, Sylvie, um, about what you're doing and, you know, we do have a lot of income streams we're talking about in the, the summit that relate to live shows, because I truly believe, you know, no matter all the hype around making a living online and how some people say that you can make your entire living online as a musician, my personal stance on that is you're not going to make nearly as good of a living if you try to do it that way. Plus, I feel like you're never, you're not really going to get that connection with your fans and you're not going to keep up your chops as an artist, if you're not performing some live. So that's why I feel like live performances are so important to highlight. And we have a lot of different, we have two full days of people talking about making money at live performances. So Carleen says live shows, um, country clubs, restaurants, not selling anything yet. Okay. But you are in the process of creating your CD. So you are ready to start selling. Plus I know you have books, Carlene. Did you, do you sell books at your events? Um, live shows, clubs, and festivals, definitely having someone talking about festivals. If you guys are familiar with Louis Lavella, he has been the marketing manager for some major, major festivals. And um, he's just really well known for helping artists just crush it at festivals. So you're going to absolutely love him talking about that. Um, merch, digital sales, streaming. Awesome. Um, Beth says booking signature concerts. Now that's kind of similar to what my friend Tiamo is going to be talking about with keynote concerts at the, at the summit. Um, vineyards, senior centers, and libraries. Now when Tara is talking on the summit, she definitely focuses on niche events. And I know senior centers has been a, a big thing that she's done. And she actually talked about libraries too, um, performing at a library. She recently did that. So um, Tara says live shows, teach lessons, online courses, and um, selling CDs at gigs. So yes, Tara recently came out with her online course book, Like a Boss. It's been so well received. 
And I'm actually going to be the person talking about online courses on the summit, which I can't wait to do. Um, I've worked with a lot of people, including Tara and Catherine, who's on here, putting together online courses and selling them. So if you guys feel like you've got expertise that you want to share with the world online in online courses, we're definitely going to be talking about that in the summit. Uh, booking women's events, churches, and weddings. Those are some kind of fall under, well, the women's events kind of fall under what Tara talks about. And then I've got a couple of people in relation to private parties and events like weddings um, that I'm talking with, one of which is from Gig Salad. And so that's going to be really helpful on how to get those booked. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Tara says it's going to be awesome with all the speakers. Thank you. It, it, it really is awesome. I mean, I've obviously heard all the interviews because I did them. Um, good morning, Amanda. Amanda says I teach four different places and do background vocals. Um, would love to try to do virtual lessons. Oh, we have Judy Rodman um, is talking about how she does virtual lessons. And she gives you all the specifics on how she handles the tech and, you know, how she sets up the lessons with people. And it's, it's going to be really useful because I know that any of you that are um, doing lessons locally are going to be able to use this. Um, I actually talk to a lot of voice teachers that do this virtually, especially if they've got people that, you know, go out on tour and, and Judy talks about this where um, she has some people that are only virtual and then she's got some people that she works with in Nashville that when they go on tour, they need help, you know, when they're on a tour. And she actually coached people, everything from, you know, on Zoom or Skype to actually over the phone, you know, while they're in the green room getting ready for their performance. So um, let's see. <clears throat> um, so she says that they do it at the Institute that she that she teaches at, that they do virtual lessons. Um, let's see. <laughs> We're getting some props for Steve, definitely. If any of you guys know Steve, you know that I picked a very quality partner and he's gonna be really, really instrumental in um, making sure that the summit is super valuable by providing you with um, with a lot of, of stuff along the way to help you really implement these income streams. <clears throat> so Sarah Baker says, artist development, performance, um, recording, teaching, and CDs. So um, I know Sarah has worked with my friend Fett, who's gonna be talking on the summit about setting up home studio and how to get clients. Uh, I know she does some of that. Also, artist development is a great one. Um, my friend Ann Heaton is talking about how she does that. She works with artists um, in every way from helping produce their albums to songwriting, mentorship. Um, there's so many ways that you can mentor other artists, which I think it's awesome that you're doing, Sarah. Um, oh, yeah, Carlene says she forgot about the fact that she sells books. Yes, I mean, that is merch. And it relates to your music, especially, you know, when you've got songs that relate to what your books are about. Um, let's see, Tara says, yes, live shows really connect you to people. Even at a live show, I connected uh, in December with a lady, ugh, I hate how this scrolls, who now is a voice student. So absolutely, like getting out there, you guys. Good morning, Wynn, great to see you. Getting out there and performing, I cannot tell you how important that is. Um, I, I'm serious that like there has been a lot of hype over the last few years about how you can make your entire living online. And, and some of us musicians that are introverts, we find that really compelling. But I just don't think that you're going to have the kind of monetary success or just the fulfillment as an artist if you're not performing live. Um. Oh, Carlene says she's also done library gigs. Uh, library gigs are getting really popular. I, I know I saw that Carol Nicodemi was also booking a bunch of those. Oh, good morning to Lisa Lim. Grace to, great to see you. 
Uh, I can't keep up with your guys' comments. This is awesome. So in case you just showed up, um, everyone, we're talking about income streams and everybody's kind of posting like the income streams that they have coming in right now or ones that they would like to learn about. Because on the summit, we are going to be talking about 32 different income streams. <clears throat> Let's see, still scrolling here. Um, again, lots of props for Steve. Um, yes, and so Sarah also does production, which is even another income stream that kind of goes along with your home studio. Um, and then working on licensing. So yeah, Sarah's working on that. And we do have several speakers in relation to licensing. We have Michelle Lockie, as many of you know, talking about music libraries and publishing. And we have Joyce Kettering, who you all probably also know, talking about how she does licensing and how she gets a lot of direct contacts with, um, with licensing opportunities. Catherine says she's done a little bit of everything, private teaching, group teaching, online teaching, uh, running camps. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, adjudicating. Wow, that's an income stream we didn't talk about. Um, obviously, you have to be connected with somebody at a contest of some kind to be able to do something like that. Um, weddings, corporate events. So we have a great speaker talking about corporate events. You're really going to learn a ton from him. I know I did. And then house concerts. Um, you guys know I'm a big proponent of house concerts. And even though I have a course on it, I felt like we needed to bring in the ultimate person on house concerts, who is Shannon Curtis. She wrote a great book called um, No Booker, No Bouncer, No Bartender. Uh, if any of you guys have read that, you know how good that is. But she dishes out even more specific tips, especially for booking house concert tours and how she's kind of upped her game over the past few years since she you know, produced the book on how she now um, does her house concerts. Um, and then merch is definitely a big one. Catherine's talking about how she sells t-shirts, sheet music and jewelry. Um, and we have Suzanne Polinski, who you may know as the rock star advocate. She is talking all about how to make the most of your merch table, how to sell more, again, kind of along the lines of what I was talking about a few weeks ago, how to sell without feeling salesy and sleazy and weird. Um, and also my friend uh, Greg Wilna from Musician Monster is talking about how he started selling merch and making money at concerts when he had absolutely nothing. Like he was just beginning. He had no CDs for sale, no merch, no nothing. And he was able to start making money at concerts with absolutely nothing to sell. So I know many of you guys are in that position right now, and that's going to be really helpful. Um, Amanda says she used to do a, li a yearly library gig for children. Yes, that can be really, really fun. Good morning to Christina. Still scrolling through these comments here. Michelle Lockie is awesome, Sarah says. Okay, so I just want to kind of go real quick through the income streams that we do have. Uh, I've mentioned a lot of them, but I want to make sure that I mention them all so you guys know. Um, in the meantime, if you haven't yet, and I know most of you that are here have, but some of you haven't, go sign up for the Profitable Musician Summit. It is um, a 10-day online conference from May 1st to May 10th. I recommend you sign up now so you're, you've got your spot, you're all ready to go and you don't forget to sign up. And you'll, of course, receive reminders about all the, the interviews that come out. There are four or five that come out every day and um, they are available for free for 48 hours. So anyone that wants to go can go for free. I highly recommend though, after you sign up, that you grab the all access pass. There's an early bird price on that. And once the summit starts, you can't get that price. And it's just really, really helpful because you can go back to all these income streams later, watch these whenever you want to. And you know we can't incorporate all these income streams right away, right? We need time to add one at a time. We don't want to overwhelm you. And so having that all access pass and lifetime access to all these interviews 
plus these action plans that Steve is going to create for anyone with the All Access Pass, I highly recommend that you do that. Um, so I just wanted to go through like day one, or actually day one is our opening party. We've got a really cool surprise speaker that you're going to love. And then the first day we're talking about lots of live opportunities, talking about self-produced concerts with Lisa Lynn. If any of you have heard my interview with her, we go even deeper on self-produced concerts with her. Um, Louis Lavella, as I said, talking about festival income. Tiamo De Vittori talking about keynote concerts. Um, Roberto Candelaria, he's awesome. And he is talking about sponsorships. So if any of you guys have thought, you know, can I get sponsorships for my music? Can I get, you know, free instruments? Can I get um, some money to help me with my album or my tour if I put people's logos on there? He is going to tell you all the things that you can spon get sponsored and how you get to the decision makers and all of that stuff is going to be so good. Um, it's definitely what I used, um, his methods to get some sponsors for this conference. We have a major sponsor, which is Muddy Paw PR, and we also have several other sponsors, including um, Music X-Ray, Banzoogle, and Broad Jam. So um, I have definitely used his tactics, and I know you guys can too. And so other income streams, we're talking about crowdfunding with Ariel Hyatt and also an artist, Cassandra Kabinsky, who's been really successful with several crowdfunding campaigns. As I mentioned, Shannon Curtis on house concerts. Um, Steve is talking about Facebook groups, which is kind of his thing, right? The Music Launch Hub is a really popular group. In fact, it was just named number one group for musicians on Facebook in an article last week. Um, so he's going to talk about how you can use building communities like that for your music. Um, then we have several people talking about using live video. Rick Barker is talking about how to make money on Facebook Live, like we're doing right now. Um, we've got somebody that is really successful with live streaming, Emma McGann, and YouTube. So we're going to talk about how you can use YouTube to make money and also other live streaming platforms. We're going to talk about using Concert Window. Have any of you guys used Concert Window? We've got a couple of speakers uh, talking about that. Um, <clears throat> Then we've got a whole section on how you can make money with songwriting, as I said, with music licensing, with writing custom songs for people and charging a good deal of money for doing that because they are absolutely custom. Um, several different aspects of music licensing and songwriting. Then we have talking about um, working with students in courses, either offline, where I'm talking with Ali Tyler of the marketed musician about how she builds her amazing um, studio of students offline. And then I'm talking about uh, online courses and Judy Rodman is talking about how she teaches students virtually. Then we're talking about more booking stuff in relation to getting a lot of really cool live gigs, touring. Tara, as I said, is talking about niche gigs and how to price yourself. Um, great speaker on corporate events, um, and then a couple of speakers talking about private parties and using gig salad for that. We have um, then a whole day on sales as far as like music and merch. Like I said, Suzanne's talking about how to sell more merch at events, and so is Greg. Um, we've got someone from Ditto Music who's like really well known for getting a lot of people on Spotify playlists and she works only with indies. So that is going to be a really, really good one. Um, we're talking about direct to fan marketing. And then we've got a whole section on using your home studio, whether it's um, Becky and Fett talking about building your studio clientele um, or it's Audrey talking about how she does online um, session work for people or Jody, who's talking about using your talents as a vocal artist to then um, do voiceover work with, you know, speaking with doing audiobooks and commercials and things like that. And then our last day, we've got some amazing speakers talking about busking. 
So I want to completely dispel the myths about busting, busking and how it is, you know, it's for starving musicians. It's not. It is a strategic thing to busk. And we've got a great speaker, Lindsay Cat, about how she is does unique ways of busking and really connects with fans. And then we have some people talking about busking online, one of which is uh, someone who often comes to this um, live stream, which is Annie Aronson talking about using um, street jelly to do online busking. Awesome to see you this morning, Carol. I was talking about how you do library gigs earlier um, because we kind of got on that subject. Let's see what else is going on here. So I've kind of given you run, the rundown of the summit. Make sure that you sign up at ProfitableMusicianSummit.com. I put the link in the description above here. Um, love your backdrop. Thank you. Um, yeah, Steve made all these images. It's amazing to try to get 39 people on one image. <laughs> so, but we did it. <laughs> mm. The Profitable Musician Summit is going to be such a game changer for musicians. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see, was just talking last night about getting, getting a brand for myself logo wise. Okay. So I definitely suggest you come to the opening party, Amanda, because there's going to be some stuff about that. Um, you know, as you know, like this has been very specific in, I want to cover income streams specifically. So I didn't have a whole section about branding, but I do have someone coming a surprise speaker to the opening party, which is going to be 8 PM Eastern, 5 PM Pacific on May 1st, talking about things that you need to put in place before you start trying to monetize. And branding is one of those things. So, um, see. Oh yeah. Uh, Beth is talking about Lisa, Lisa Lynn, how she's inspiring. Yes, she absolutely is. Um, so great comments here about our speakers. So Sylvie says you can earn a lot of money with busking if you choose the correct songs. Absolutely. And I'm, I mean, like, I don't want you to think that because I put that on the last day that it's not juicy content. It, the, the busking section, I think, is so good. And it's something that you guys can go out and do right away, whether you're busking online or offline. <laughs> I'm glad you guys love the backdrop. I think this sounds just packed full with amazing help and information. Absolutely it is. Thank you, Tara. So thank you guys for showing up. If you have any questions about the summit, you can always post them right here on this live stream. You can ask me directly, uh, Bree at femmusician.com. You can ping Steve over in the Music Launch Hub or me in the Female Indie Musician Community. Um, again, if you, if you have any questions, if you have any trouble, signing up for the summit, make sure that you do that in the next few weeks. I'm obviously going to be talking a ton about it for the next few weeks because I put a lot of work into it. So I'm going to be just promoting it like crazy. Um, but we'll be, you know, we'll be doing some little teaser podcast episodes so you can get some little hints of what the speakers are going to be like. We'll be doing some little teasers on social media, some little video clips and things. So watch for those, share them with your musician friends. We really appreciate you guys promoting it. Um, if you have any friends that you think would want to know about this, share this post to them, um, this Facebook Live, so they can go watch the replay. And we would really, really appreciate that. Um, I also have a podcast episode that was just put up on femmusician.com that is kind of similar to this. It's a recap of everything that we're doing with the summit. It, I go through all the speakers and all that. So um, if you want to hear more about it, you can always go to femmusician.com and check that out. And I cannot wait for you guys to see my interviews. I have been working so hard on this and it's been so, so fun. And I just can't wait to share, like I said, on my my own personal page post. I feel like a kid on Christmas being able to share all the information about this finally. Um, <clears throat> cool. It starts at 8 p.m. Eastern on May 1st. Yes, that is when the opening party is. We're gonna have some giveaways and like a bunch of really fun stuff, some, some 
you know, surprise guests and all that. So definitely plan to put May 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific on your calendar. Super sorry to any Europeans. I know that's going to be in the middle of the night for you. Um, it's been hard when we've got people all around the the world and working with a partner in Australia, I have to make sure that Steve's awake. So I have to find a time that works for him and me and most of the people in our audience. So, um, you know, you can always watch the replay of the opening party as well. When you sign up for the summit, you'll definitely be getting all the reminders. And I highly recommend too, when you sign up for the summit on the, on the next page, it reminds you to sign up for messenger reminders and that'll just help you make sure you don't miss any of the important um, sessions. We'll be sending out a reminder every day to let people know this is the page that you go to. Here are our speakers. And, you know, just a quick little reminder right where you can find it easily um, and it doesn't get lost in your email box. So definitely sign up for those reminders as well. Thanks again, everybody, for showing up. It's so awesome to hang out with you on Mondays. I always, always look forward to it. Have an amazing day, and I cannot wait for you guys to see the summit. Ciao.